The Hardwood Estates Project team of dedicated residents, lawyers, community leaders, and organizations work together in an unprecedented fashion to save Hardwood Estates, a 91-lot mobile home park located outside of Conneaut Lake, Pennsylvania. The tireless work of individuals and groups who committed hundreds of hours of their time, fought injustice, remedied environmental harms, and saved homes. Hardwood Estates was abandoned by its owner as a result of enforcement activity by the PA Department of Environmental Protection concerning operation of the community water system and illegal dumping. The owner failed to comply with water quality standards. Residents of the mobile home park had unsafe water and were at risk of having their water shut off. Without the ingenuity of Regional Housing Legal Services staff attorney Bob Damewood, Carla Falkenstein of the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency, PHFA, the Hardwood Estates Residents Association, Wendy Carter from Pathstone Housing Corporation, Chuck Scalise from Hands of Erie, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection Safe Drinking Water Program, Martin Luther King Jr. intern Wesley Speary, and pro bono attorney Kenneth Joseph of Pepper Hamilton LLP. Many families would likely have been displaced and the mobile home park abandoned. Residents, led by Nancy Close and Mel Reinhardt, began operating the abandoned community water system on a volunteer basis. They later formed the Hardwood Estates Residents Association. Rather than close down the water system and cause dozens of families to lose their homes, DEP asked the Crawford County Court of Common Pleas to appoint a receiver. With the help of Pathstone's Wendy Carter, the association was able to obtain a forgivable loan from PHFA to explore the feasibility of purchasing the park and addressing the health and safety issues. The court appointed the association as receiver to operate the water system and maintain the park. The residents were represented by RHLS attorney Bob Damewood. Bob not only provided expert legal representation, he assembled a highly functional team and guided the team to reach goals. The park was officially sold to Hardwood Estates Residents Association in 2015. Once the park was acquired, the association faced the fact that approximately half of the park lots were privately owned, a challenge for enforcing community rules and sharing maintenance costs. As a result, Hands of Erie, led by Chuck Scalise, offered to help the association further enhance their living conditions and engage the other owners. An attorney with Pepper Hamilton LLP, Ken Joseph, provided pro bono legal assistance to help the association draft enforceable rules. Both Hands of Erie and Ken Joseph remain actively involved in assisting the residents with the complexities of the arrangement. Hardwood Estates is now a community with safe drinking water and regular maintenance of common areas. Challenges remain, but now the residents are in a position to control their community's destiny. The cooperation of the organizations and individuals involved in the story of Hardwood Estates is a shining example of the power of community organizing, pro bono legal support, and legal aid. We are privileged to present the 2016 Plan Excellence Award to Nancy Close and Mel Reinhardt, PA Department of Environmental Protection Safe Drinking Water Program, Carla Falkenstein and PHFA. Wendy Carter, Chuck Scalise, Kenneth Joseph, Wesley Speary, and Bob Damewood.